What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo and the future of Nintendo, the Nintendo NX. Uh, I'm actually really excited about the tech. I'm excited about, you know, the, the future of the 3DS, the future of the Wii U, what Nintendo's plans are for the next handheld, the next console. <sighs> the thing that has me worried right now about Nintendo, on the other hand, is they're supposed to be launching this thing in March. Here we are, it's October, nobody's seen it. I'm thinking that we have to see it this month, that we have to. Uh, you know, there are developers out there who have seen it, lots of people are excited about it. Uh, and Yves Gilmont, if you guys don't know who Eve is, he's actually the CEO of Ubisoft. He mentioned Nintendo NX a few months ago, he's back out there mentioning it again, and he has nothing but high praises for this thing, which makes me even more excited about what Nintendo is actually doing. Nintendo's made a few missteps in this last few console iterations, barring the 3DS, and it makes me excited to hear someone who knows gaming, who knows development, really, really excited about what Nintendo's doing. And so here we are, October. We haven't seen it yet. I'm thinking by the end of this month, we will see it uh, for sure. But in the meantime, I want to talk about what Eve Gilmont has recently said about the Nintendo NX. I'll drop a link in the description. Eve Gilmont praises Nintendo NX, claiming it's a new direction for Nintendo. Ubisoft CEO Eve Gilmont has spoken in favor of Nintendo's NX again, saying that it will put the world's biggest console maker, quote, back in the game, end quote. The story was initially reported by French journalist Chloe Woiter, echoing the sentiments of the Ubisoft executive who has previously spoken about Nintendo's next big shot at the console summit in a positive light. Once again, Gilmont stated that even though Nintendo's Wii U did not quite perform on the standards set by the company, Nintendo NX would be a fresh start and one that would prove as a redemption for the company and fans alike. The dismal performance of the Wii U is further highlighted by the fact that Nintendo's previous console, the Wii, had sold more than 100 million units since its launch in 2006, six years before the launch of the Wii U in 2012. Gilmont further praised the NX, stating that it was a step in the right direction for Nintendo and that it will prove to be a great breath of fresh air for gamers. Gilmont's complimentary approach to the NX is a result of Ubisoft's multiple exclusives in the work for the said console, like Just Dance 2017 and other numerous projects that are yet to be announced. According to various reports, the unveiling of the NX could be only weeks away, with a tentative launch period of around March of next year. Unlike any other Nintendo game machine so far, the NX is a console handheld hybrid and one that has excited the fans for quite some time now. Gilmont's comments this month has further amped up the hype for Nintendo's next big move. Uh, yeah, I think it is amping up the hype, but the thing is, I don't know if it's even going to affect it, honestly. I think that uh, people are excited, people like Nintendo, people love Nintendo, people grew up with Nintendo. You know, if you're as old as I am, you know what Nintendo is all about. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what this thing is. It's something that I want, you know, I want to take it with me on the go, I want to play with it at home on my big screen, uh, but I just want to see it. I feel like Nintendo could be making a huge mistake when it comes to actually uh, uh, advertising this thing and getting it known to people what it actually is by waiting and waiting and waiting. We know that this thing is pretty much complete. It has to be close to be being completed at this point. Uh, and so I think that they need to get out there, they need to put one foot in front of the other and go out there and show people what this thing is to really get people excited about Nintendo's future. Um, they might be afraid that this is not going to compete with the PlayStation Pro or the Xbox Scorpio. I don't think they need to worry about that. Nintendo games are the reason that people buy Nintendo. And so, if they put a piece of hardware out there that's not another Wii or Wii U type of device that really innovates in the way that Nintendo is known for doing, uh, then I think people are going to jump on this thing and buy it. The rumors of it being $450, I hope that's not true. If it's $450, that's going to be a pretty big problem for Nintendo. Uh, when it comes to overcoming its competition. Because Nintendo doesn't like to say that PlayStation or Xbox is its competition. They're lying their asses off. They know that PlayStation and Xbox are their competition. They need to consistently be cheaper than their competition. This thing needs to be $249 out the door, and that just needs to be the way it is. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Are you excited about the NX right now? Uh, has the hype died down? Are you not a fan? Are you a big fan of Nintendo? I'm personally a big fan of the company. I'm just not a fan of their last two major consoles. They've kind of let me down, to be totally honest. Uh, the 3DS, I think, is a pretty fun machine, but the technology behind the 3DS is kind of fading. It's not aging very well when you look at, you know, tablets and phones and the way games look on those uh, compared to the 3DS. They do need something new. They need something fresh. They need something powerful or more powerful 
to keep them in the limelight and keep people excited about Nintendo's future. You guys let me know what you think. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, Carl.